Good morning, welcome to Tech Talks again. Today I have uh, with me um, JR, um, who is the founder of Reach. Um, Reach is a personal financial services application uh, for people to manage, uh, manage their lives. So we'll talk about it. So JR, welcome to uh, Tech Talks. Thanks. Yeah. So um, Reach, um, how did it come about and what's in the name Reach? Okay, so how did it come about first yeah. and then the name? So, um, first of all, thanks for having me, by the way. That's very cool Good to, have to be you. invited. Yeah. Um, my mother, after every trip to the market, okay. my mom is a, um, a trained accountant okay. from like back in the day. Um, she would come back after buying everything and she would literally account for every mm. Naira and back then mm. Kobo that she spent. And I used to think this was ridiculous, but then after growing up in a house that this happened, you notice yourself doing the same thing yeah. um, in school. So when I was um, in university, I, I was able to stretch all my money because I was very careful with it. Um, and then you fast forward to it's you know it's many years later. I'm thinking of starting a company, and a lot of a lot of what I saw, at least, yeah, no offense to um, um, banking apps. No, 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 okay. I would bash you. Where was it? I'm not bashing. Not yet. Not yet. Where will okay. you get there? Okay. We'll see. Okay. Um, <laughs> it just I had other questions that I wanted to answer. Things like, you know, where exactly did this money go? Um, how much of it am I spending on this category or that category? Um, but first and foremost, though, was like, okay, I've been saving a way for starting a business of my own, mm -hmm. and Reach was helping me do that. So that's that's yeah. where the idea came from. Yeah. Um, and then the name Reach, um, that was literally one of those. I was sitting with a friend who is you know, part of the company, and we were thinking about what is it that we want people to do when they look at this product, when they're using it. And there was the idea of helping you get to your destination no matter your financial situation. So you can reach. Yeah, yeah. reach the target. I didn't think about that. Okay, um, so that's great. So, um, so how does it work? Yes, yeah, so how does it work? So <clears throat> we painstakingly, and it took us many, many, many hours of work. Um, I mean, we're talking like months of mm -hmm. just tallying the names of um, companies. As you know, a lot of companies have one name for what they show us as customers and another name for what they register at the yeah. bank. So when an alert comes, you don't know who these people are, but you know, our team, we spend the time building a database okay. and then training our algorithm to then, hey, if you see this kind of thing, put it in this category. So when you, when, you, when you first download the app, you'll notice that automatically it knows What's going on? Quite a few things. I downloaded yeah. it. In fact, I use it again. I, we downloaded it like yesterday. And we spooked out. How the hell did they know my uh, payment for the last year? That's because, you know, you know obviously it, it's, it's fed by um, mm. both our algorithm and a database of okay. um, vendors that we built ourselves. And so that's how it works, mm. right? You don't have to put it, put any um, expenses in yourself. Because yeah. I realize also that very few people are like, you know, my mother and her mm. children. Yeah. My dad is actually not like that. My yeah. dad does not do that kind of accounting. But the rest of yeah. the kids, um, we do this. And... A lot of people have actually said that to me. I, I, I was always afraid that I had to type in mm -hmm. my expenses manually, but you've made it easy for me. Yeah. We still give people the option to enter manual yeah. expenses, yeah. but that's how yeah. it works. So, I mean, like, for, for, you, for me to get my total view of what I've spent money on, spent my incomes and my expenses, yes. it needs to go through my phone. Ah, beautiful question. <laughs> so, it, that's, so, it goes through on your phone. Yeah. It doesn't come back to our database. Yeah. Because A, we don't actually have the space to store that stuff. Okay. But B, it's not useful to us. Yeah. So what it does is on the actual app, mm -hmm. it knows what banks sound like. Yeah. Okay. So it only processes banking transactions. Yeah. Anything personal does not even show up yeah. in our database. It stays entirely in your phone. Okay. So for me to maximize, get the full benefit. Yes. It means all my payments should be more mostly electronic. Not necessarily, right? So, because so in this if, country, if I withdraw cash, so for example, if I withdraw cash from the okay. ATM, so, so for me, if I'm trying to tally, if I let's say withdraw forty thousand naira from the ATM and I spend that, right? so I did that two weeks ago, okay, right? Um, and on this app, mm -hmm. I will click that. So of course, you see that ATM transaction. It'll show up as an ATM transaction. Now I'll click the ATM transaction and I'll select the number of categories I spent that mm. cash on. Okay, that's and manual input. So for me, so my question is that for me to really not minimize my manual input, right? Yes, okay, so yeah, to, minim so yeah, to minimize your, your manual input, yeah. you have to pay for as many things as you can, yeah. you know, in chunks. But so, like, so you're really the, promoting the cashless, cashless uh, no, I, Nigeria? Listen, I, I, was, I was telling someone today, I actually yeah. don't remember the last time I saw a 1,000 naira note. I don't okay. remember what it looks yeah. like. Because uh, when, when you're in Lagos, it's very like, yeah. it's easy to live that yeah. life. 
I'm going to Jaws in a few weeks for Christmas. Yeah, yeah like yeah. I, I know I've, I've struggled finding POSs there. Yeah. yeah, cool. So how many transactions go, or should I say, activities go through the platform? Yeah. That's one. And then how many people have, you know, how, and how successful is it from a customer acquisition perspective? Um, so let me start with the customers. So um, when we started in November last yeah. year, so, what, so we were in beta for a long time figuring yeah. out who we were. Um, and so this might be one of the questions you have because we actually, when yeah. we first launched to the world, we were a savings platform, yeah. helping people save bit mm -hmm. by bit by bit. Um, and that was our official launch was in November last okay. year. And from November until January, we started noticing something. People would always write us questions. Hey, it's good that you, you're, you, know, you think I can save, but I don't even have money left at the end of the month mm -hmm. to save. That was like the constant yeah. um, cry that we heard. And so we thought to ourselves, listen, this is something that we use the ability to track our expenses, set budgets. What if other people needed that before they could even start the savings journey? Yeah. And so in January, we we're at about a thousand people. So in November, we we're at 200 people. Mm -hmm. Then January, about a thousand people. <clears throat> and then we actually said, okay, you know, let's, let's slow down on any kind of acquisition, build something that people really need. Okay. And today we are over 15,000 people. That's great, yeah. So that's, so that's great. So, um how are you going to make money out of it? How do you monetize this? So, I mean, so thankfully we already yeah. are able to make money um, okay. out of reach. So when you think about what's going on in, at least in our continent today, data is hard. Okay. Like when you want to make a decision and you don't want to be guessing. Um, so people have come to us saying, listen, I want to know what the size of the Nigerian um, <clears throat> online retail market is. For the first time, mm. there's a way to find that out. Okay. So, we built something very valuable, just like Facebook does. Yeah. We built something very valuable to, um, to our end users, mm -hmm. and then businesses come to us for insights that they could not get so did, otherwise. Yeah. So, it's so, inform so it's all information, yes. basically. Yes. Um, so, so I want to be specific, but we never sell anything that is personal information. Okay. It's always, it's, yeah. and in fact, what we do is, we, in the same way that McKinsey sells reports, that's what people come to us for. Yeah. They want, well, I shouldn't say sales sell reports, but yeah. research and yeah. um, analysis. So people come to us for yeah. industry so, insights. So, okay, as a standalone, it's pretty useful, yes. relatively. Yes. But for you to really harness the power, uh, the potential, aren't you going to latch it on to, for example, a banking application? So, for example. So we. At least two banks have mm -hmm. approached us, um, and so we, we take that as a good sign because yes, we're not mm -hmm. oblivious to the fact that we yeah. are hopefully a very juicy acquisition ta um, target for mm -hmm. a bank. Yeah. And so we're not against that, in fact, we welcome that kind of attention. Yeah. And we agree that yes, depending on how you think about integrating it, mm -hmm. um, it makes a lot of sense for us to work with banks. Or white labeling this. it, for example. I'm sorry? White labeling it. So, white labeling yes, it, labeling, yes, yes, white labeling yes, yes, yes. So, so how, I mean like, I stumbled on reach. How did I stumble on reach? I think accidentally. Uh, I think one of your staff members mentioned it. Yeah, but, yes, but I saw it somewhere else. Oh. Um, but then how? So how how are you going to scale? How do you want to scale? So supposing you don't you don't collaborate with any financial institution, how are you going to how are you how are you going to scale? Uh, so with, one of the things that we yeah you know yeah, that's yeah, true yeah. and you know we have big plans for 2018. One of the things that has gone really well for mm. us has been the word of mouth yeah. thing. So. Our Instagram ad, our one Instagram ad mm -hmm. was viewed almost two million times or something that's like that. Because so, like, it's, yeah. it's a really a funny ad. The first time yes. you see your expenses, okay. it's shocking. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so there's this girl who was in our office yeah. trying it for the first time and she has become, you know, like our most successful ad yeah. simply because it's honest. Yeah. And then people started, you know, at so so and so, yeah. at so so and so. So people started telling their friends about it. So that's one way, the, yeah. the word of mouth way. But um, in, I want to say in July or so, we launched in Ghana. Mm. And we're realizing that thanks to the uniformity of banking behavior across Africa, yeah. we actually get the chance to actually yeah. open in other markets yeah. and do the same thing there. So what's, what's, what's the next big plans for REACH? So we're really mm. targeted um, on our users. So yeah. we are constantly asking them questions. What, what isn't working for you on the app? What do you wish the app could do um, for you? And actually that's what we're building. Yeah. So, the last week mm. of work, we closed the office on mm. Friday because no one had gone on vacation the entire year. Yeah. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so we closed. You're not a slave driver. <laughs> I am not a slave driver. Mm. Um, I'm still working, yeah. but nobody else has to. Um, and the last week of work was actually just asking our users who were um, willing to come in and talk to us. And we got a lot of great yeah. advice on, 
hey, listen, I wish you guys also did this for me. Because that, that's how we came here, right? We yeah. got to this year's yeah. success yeah. by doing so. So um, from, from a data perspective, um, from a gender perspective, um, how many, what's the ratio of men to uh, women? At that, our office? No, or? That, no, no. Oh. That use um, the application. It's almost, actually, it's almost even. It's 55-45. Okay, um, men to women, so right? 55 men, just because men are a little bit more, yeah. um, what do you call it? Tech yeah. oriented. But like, I was actually pretty, yeah. you know, pleased by it. Mm. So what does the data tell you? So, for, it's it's exactly, because for, for yeah. most of that, you will have to pay me. Yeah, um, pay of course. Off. I shouldn't say me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but there are things that we're finding out, right? Okay. Like, um, people are very, how do I, we are a very hopeful bunch. Yeah. And so you find that like, people are always willing to give and to lend. And like, so, I mean, that's actually really, really comforting. Mm -hmm. when, you, yeah. when you live in a city that doesn't have, um, a country that doesn't have its own strong yeah. social, um, sector, yeah. like it's good to see. So that validates that, validate that social, like we no, are, own social we are, we do social. take care of each yeah. other. It's yeah. quite like it's often yeah. people come and tell me, listen, I know that your, your budget has said I shouldn't be doing more than this, yeah. but you know that I'm taking care of my mom, my dad, yeah, my, exactly, and we yeah. get it. And yeah. so now, like, part of what we're going to be doing is actually giving people ways to think through that yeah. process because people are, I mean, constantly asking yeah. for help, right? So or just give me like, no. So they tell me, okay, this is my budget for helping people this year, so that I don't go crazy. So in the I office, yes, we yeah. started, we started, we started piloting that. Yeah. Um, we have the, it's like the ten rules, um, the ten reach yeah. personal finance rules, and we actually put aside mm. your like um, giving and charity because that includes what you give to church or what you give to um, parents. It's all like it's a combination of all your yeah. giving, just so that you have a sense yeah. of like you know what's feasible. Would you? Like it's been great talking to you. Um, I'm you still going to try that app for like a few weeks longer. And I guess the more data that you get, the richer the smarter it, it, actually, it gets, and smarter yes. get and, yeah. and richer it becomes. So thank you very much and we'll continue the conversation offline. Thank you very much. Cool.